Hi, my name is Mike Peterson. I'm the energy manager of Salt Lake Community College. So at the Salt Lake Community College, we have multiple campuses. Uh, we have multiple buildings at each one of those campuses, which we have to review, look at the data, and make sure that we are reducing energy and, and look at all the trends as well. So the way that we do that is with our sub metering, and there's a lot of programming involved with Vitality. It's simplified it, and their building intelligence system, it's simplified it so much that we can build our own charts and graphs for what our needs are. And with that, we've had the, if there's something that I can't do, Vitality has been able to uh, provide the customer service to show where our peak demand is, uh, how, what our usage is, what time of the day that is happening. And then with that, we can kind of pinpoint what issues that we might have or pinpoint high energy usage as far as lighting or HVAC and make adjustments to those schedules and to those set points at least on our side, there's no maintenance involved. Through SkySpark, I've had to hire multiple different people to come in and fix things, and a lot of times they don't even get fixed. And so with Vitality, we that is not an issue that we've run into. It's very user-friendly. I've had some challenges here at the college of being on the VPN to be able to gather this data. And with Vitality, I don't have to do that. I can work from home and be able to gather all the data that I need through the Vitality system. I asked Vitality to install a submeter on here so that we can have that data and it is reliable. So we do have a uh, constant data feed from Vitality and because of that we won't have to rely on uh, Tesla and their dashboard system. Some of the games here every now and then are shown on TV as far as the stars play here. So Rocky Mountain Power did an assessment on this that we asked them to do beforehand and so they could measure our baseline of how much energy we were using. And because we did have a reduction of about 70,000 kilowatt hours, we were able to get a $30,000 incentive from them. We should see a simple payback within the next few years. So we were able to look at our vitality data, see how much energy we're using in this space. And we were able to install the lights. And after the installation of lights, we were able to look at the existing usage. And because the existing usage is a lot lower than the, than the baseline, uh, using our Vitality information, we're able to see that. We're able to prove our savings and get an incentive from Rocky Mountain Power. 